ஹாய் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் யூ ஆல் ஐ எம் தர்மராஜ் மனோகரன் ஒர்க்கிங் எஸ் அசிஸ்டன்ட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் இன் மெக்கானிக்கல் இன்ஜினியரிங் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் அட் கொங் இன்ஜினியரிங் காலேஜ் ஸோ டுடே ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு ப்ரெசென்ட் யூ அபவுட் தி இன்ட்ரோடக்ஷன் டு சாலிட்ஸ் அண்ட் இட்ஸ் ப்ரொஜெக்ஷன்ஸ் லெட்டஸ் சே லெட்டஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டிஃபைன் வாட் டி மீன் பை சாலிட்ஸ் ஓகே சாலிட்ஸ் இஸ் அன் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் ஹேவிங் த்ரீ டைமென்ஷன்ஸ் ஜஸ்ட் லென்த் ப்ரெத் அண்ட் ஹைட் ஆர் திக்னஸ் and it is being the dimensions have been measured along the three mutually perpendicular axes or we can say that it is a plane figures or plane surfaces or curved surfaces or combinations of both have been formed together and it can be formed as a solid and so this is the types of classification of solids solids have been defined uh, solids have been classified into three types one is polyhedras and solids of revolutions frustums and truncated solids polyhedras are again subdivided into three types so one is regular polyhedras so a solid which is bounded by a plane plane figure regular type of plane figures like cube tetrahedron octahedron and etc okay likewise prisms have been classified into again uh, based upon the bottom face of the uh, shape one is square prisms pentagonal prisms and hexagonal prisms so these are all the main types and we can classify it again octahedron pr- prisms and dodecahedron hi- isosahedron icosahedron that are that are also available but we are not going to see this in, uh, see that in this introduction and pyramids so pyramids have been classified again based upon the bottom face so it will have square pyramid pentagonal pyramid and hexagonal pyramid so when you come into the solids of revolution we have uh, three types again cone cylinder and sphere let us see these three types in detail okay and one more types of classification is frustums and truncated solids we will see what is what do you mean by frustums and truncated solids okay so these these are all the nomenclature or terminologies frequently used in solids a square prof consider a square prism that means it will have top face as square and bottom face also as yes, square so it is having a rectangular face in four edges so it will have four longer edges and it will have eight shorter edges consider a square pyramid it will have a bottom face of square face and it will have one apex so these bottom base face corners have been connected at the apex point so that is called apex point or vertex point so it will have isosceles triangles so in square pyramid you can see that four isosceles triangle okay so these type cylinder and cone have been classified as a generators formed solids that means it is comes under the solids of revolution okay so now let us see in three dimensional space so that you can get some overall idea about the solids and how it is being constructed okay here we can see some of the solids in a three dimensional space first let me introduce the first solid by seeing the top view itself you can understand that this the base face is pentagonal and it is being connected through all corners with the center point now yes can you imagine this solid yes it is just a pentagonal pyramid so let me shade this and rotate this so you can now clearly see this so it is having a base face one of the base face and it is being oh, each and every corner have been connected with one vertex point so this is the pentagonal pyramid right why i am saying this is a, this as a pentagonal pyramid that you already know that the base face is a pentagonal shape right 
now so let us hide this object let's go with the another object now you can by seeing this top view you could understand this the base face is hexagon and so it is all the corners have been connected with one center point now definitely it should be a pentag hexagonal pyramid right so let me share this and rotate this so and you can view this so this is and base face as hexagonal and it is being connected with one corner one apex or one vertex so it is hexagonal pyramid right so now you can follow this right so let me introduce another solid so this is the base face is circle and it is being connected with one apex point now it is said to be a cone right and so this is another solid now you can say it as a square and it is being connected with one apex point so this is called square pyramid okay so now you can are able to understand this pyramid and let me resume the another solid it is a prisms okay okay see while seeing this top view you could notice the difference let me make it as a wireframe okay you could see that a center point have been connected through all the corners only right a center point is being connected with all the corners so it is said to be a pyramid now you could see there is no center point and there is no connections between these corners you can say that this is an pentagonal prism and this is hexagonal prism and this is of course not a circular prism it is a cylinder okay let us say it is a cylinder and this is a square prism because the bottom and top face have been a square right so let me share with the edges okay so this is a top faces and these are all the bottom faces and if you notice that the main difference between the prisms and pyramid you will find a regular rectangular faces in a prisms right but in pyramids you will find an isosceles triangles in each of the pyramids except this cone and except the cylinder uh, in cylinder you cannot find a rectangular faces and in cone you cannot find a isosceles triangle but for almost all the shape you will find isosceles triangles and rectangular faces in prisms and pyramids respectively okay okay so now let us see and uh, another example suppose what will happen if it is so let me set a uh, one proper orientation first front view okay so now so the prisms and pyramids have been set in a front view if i split this solid by using a section plane inclined section plane now consider this is horizontal plane and this is vertical plane i am going to uh, draw one inclined plane and it is being cutted with all the solids now you can see that if i activate this so it is being cut with inclined section plane and if i rotate this you can find that so these are all the truncated solids so this is truncated pentagonal pyramid uh, similarly truncated hexagonal pyramid you can find the six faces right six edges and this is truncated cone and a truncated square pyramid similarly you can see a truncated prisms okay so now i deactivate this and again let me set the this with the proper orientation so i am going to cut this solid with a plane parallel to a horizontal plane 
that means a section plane section plane is parallel to horizontal plane now i am going to activate this and you could see this these are all the first terms that means a yes, section section plane passing through all the solid and it is being parallel with horizontal plane that means a yes, section plane orientation is still maintained with parallel to the horizontal plane so it is called thrust terms okay now you can able to understand the uh, different type of configurations right you can see the hatching views normally people will do the hatching so that you can clearly view the cut surfaces so similarly you can see the truncated solid hatching also so just if you see the top view so it is called apparent sections right okay thank you friend thank you thanks for watching if you like this video please share to your friends also thank you